How do you feel about joining the MCU? I am so excited to join the MCU. I did not know that this would happen for me. Um, and it's been surprising and so incredibly welcoming. I'm, um, I also had no idea just how big this universe is when I look at my phone right now and I see the people that are blowing me up because I was on episode five. Um, just lets me know, you know, how, however big you think you got, <laughs> you ain't big till you get into the Marvel universe, okay? <laughs> I'm just like, wow, really? I thought I was doing pretty well before this, but I guess clearly I had, there was something I had not accomplished, so it feels very good. So if someone is for both of you, Josh, you can start off with your answer. Marvel Studio is known for playing around in different genres. What genre is She-Hulk, and what can audiences expect from the series? Hmm. I think she hulk genre is comic book. I think it looks like a comic book playing out on your screen. Like it's cut in a way where I feel like you're going frame to frame. You're kind of reading from top to bottom, left to right. And I love it. I feel like after 30 minutes, it, it felt like it flew, but I got a lot of information. I love it. That's, that's what the genre is. Is that half hour comedy, but... Yeah, I feel like you're reading a comic book. And Renee, what's your take? I think that you could check the box with half hour comedy, specifically single camera half hour comedy for She-Hulk, but it would be doing it a disservice because it really mm -hmm. creates its own box in a way. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know that you can force it into any box. I think that's why I'm enjoying watching it so much because uh, the, just the intersection between the comedy and the, the, the law and the, and the superhero world and, and also the way that it so creatively brings in so many people from so many different parts of the universe uh, seamlessly within the same episode. And, uh, and it kind of, you know, there's a new kind of, uh, there's a new story, there's a new plot every single, every single day. So it's, you know, but it's also episodic and it's also, but it's also surprising. There are things that continue. Like it's, it just, it's doing so many things at the same time. I think it needs its own box. Awesome. Josh, who do you portray and what is he like? I portray Augustus Pugliesi. Nicknamed Pug. He goes by Pug. Um, and what's he like? He's ride or die. He's, he's, he's passionate and cares about his friends. Uh, he cares about his craft. He loves what he does. He goes to work with one mission, and that is to protect superheroes. And uh, in the midst of all that, he gets to meet superheroes. And I think that he um, respects respects them for what they do and uh is a fan and a friend that's pug a fan and a friend um who is mallory what does she do for a living and what is she like i play mallory book mallory book is an attorney and she's a very good one she is uh famous for having the longest streak of winning cases out of every lawyer. Um, and which that's why they call her the face that never lost a case, which is interesting because it's meant as a compliment, but is it her face that won the cases? Let's ask ourselves that question. So I think uh, what's beautiful about Mallory is that she, in this world, is she feels that she is a superhero because her record speaks for itself. And uh, to to bump somebody else up, up next to her, you know, who is a superhero and has not proven themselves in this world that we live in, um, I think is a little jarring for her. But um, but what what we learn when we see Mallory um, is that you know there's room. There's room for her to, uh, I think, surprise you in terms of who she respects, who she doesn't respect, who she befriends, and who she defends. Josh, what is Pug's relationship like with Jennifer Walters and her bestie, Nikki? Ah, uh, what's it like? I think that he's, he's excited that they're there because he admires Jen's work, She-Hulk's work. 
Um, but I think what's cool about it is that, especially in this episode, you're getting to see that relationship develop even more. You know, you're getting to see Pug and Slick Nick, you know, out, uh, out on adventures together. But uh, what adventure to go take care of their girl, to go take care of their friend, you know, and I think that's pretty cool. Renee, describe the relationship between Mallory and Jennifer. I think historically in the comics, Jen is the one that destroys Mallory's winning streak. So there's a, there's a definite reason why she would not like her. And in the world that we live in, uh, that hasn't happened. So there's a little bit more room for um, discovering something potentially new. She definitely is threatened by this person, but not because she's a superhero, perhaps because she's afforded uh, a tremendous amount of kind of leeway and, you know, in this world, maybe Mallory doesn't feel that she's earned, um, but they are two women in a world where they are fighting for something similar, even if they're not always on the same side. And so I think it's fun to watch them figure each other out. And, uh, and I love the fact that Mallory is going to make Jen work a little harder <laughs> for her respect and her trust. Josh, what's it like? for you being part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Uh, it's, it's a dream. It's a dream I didn't even know I had, you know, like it's something that I didn't, I didn't know to dream this big when I was a kid. You know, I, I, I grew up in Orlando, Florida. Uh, Nickelodeon Studios was about a 45 minute drive from my house. So that was where my dream started. Wanted to be on SNCC and wanted to be on all that. And, and uh, so now you, uh, in this, funny thing that we do new dreams pop up along the way and of course you know you're watching these incredible projects that marvel is putting out and you're like man that'd be so cool to play in that world one day and then one day they call you and here we are and now we get to talk about it every time i turn on disney plus to watch something with my family it's pretty crazy to see the she hulk banner right at the top it's very very cool it's very cool Renee, you touched on this a little bit, but what's the key to playing Mallory? She's tough, intimidating, and yet lovable. How do you do that? <laughs> oh my goodness. How do I play Mallory book and keep her tough and mysterious and somehow likable? <laughs> um, I think I am very well aware as an actor that no matter what anyone has you do, you have to make sure you're aware of the rooting factor. Um, what In terms of how the audience is responding to your character, I think it's probably because I spent a lot of time on soap operas and uh, the fan base even before social media was very, very strong and influential. So I feel very comfortable in a world like the Marvel universe where the fan base is that strong and influential. Um, and I think the way you do that as an actor is you're always very well aware of two things. One is uh, what your objective is and your objective always is something that you think is lofty and important even if everyone else wouldn't agree with you you're never doing anything particularly wrong I'm not trying to be mysterious I'm not I'm not playing at those things I'm actually really aware of what I'm what I'm trying to accomplish and what's important to me and the other thing is um, I'm always looking for the parts of myself that are real that I can share with this character even if a Mallory book wasn't drawn to look like me there are so many similarities we have and so i want to you know engage my sense of humor i want to engage the part of me that might be afraid i want to engage the part of me that wants to win i mean all of those things are in all of us and i i'm just looking for them in myself this one you can both touch on uh, josh i'll start with you what do you hope audiences take away from watching the series I hope they come away. I hope that audiences, when they turn, when they finish an episode, I hope that they're smiling. I hope that they, you know, I hope they got a couple laughs in. I hope that maybe we look, we, we, we made them look at this universe that they thought they knew so well. And maybe we keyed in on one aspect of it that they never really thought of, you know, like Wong watching the Sopranos and getting it spoiled, getting it spoiled by Madison. Like, 
That's genius. You know, like that's so funny. That's I, don't know, I love that stuff. What do you hope audiences take away from the series? I hope that audiences leave this series and think, Marvel's done it again! I had no idea that they could do this to me in a totally new way, in a totally new genre with this up character that I didn't know as much about it and I should look into and read more. I hope we go get more comics. I hope they ask for more of this character and more of this world. And probably the most important thing is uh, I remember after my daughter saw the first four episodes at our premiere, uh, she was so excited about this moment that She-Hulk was out side of a bar and these four guys come up to her and try to bully her and she like beat them all up like you know she was so she's a nine-year-old little girl and she felt like she was a superhero and um I feel like that's why we watch these shows because we want to believe in our own power um over situations where we feel small and I hope we get a little bit of that because I think right now we need it <laughs>